Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. We will not waste your time or the time of the Muslims, the Mohammedans, the black stone kissers, the one who believe in so-called Allah. As you know, Allah is so important and he is God and he found where the sun set <clears throat> and he discovered many things in this earth. There's a millions of videos about scientific discovery in the Quran. And when you watch them, you feel you want to cry. But not in one of them is truthful. And what we do here, in case you are new <clears throat> or first time in this channel, uh, you will see why we love the claim made by the Muhammadan. <clears throat> Uh, before I start, actually, uh, here we have our friend, uh, the one who called me yesterday from uh, the Congo. Uh, all right. Uh, he sent me his uh, channel. Yesterday I was busy. I did not post it, but I see it now in Skype. This is his channel. Uh, please check it out if you speak French. Uh, if you remember, he is the one who called me two days ago, uh, which actually yesterday, because we spent all the, until the morning talking and debating Muslims. Uh, so if you'd like to join his channel, he he he, he simply translate my videos into French. <clears throat> so support him if you care, and uh, thank you very much. So now going to the topic, <clears throat> you know, all of us, we knew that the Muslims, uh, they struggle badly and uh, we remember a very famous interview between uh, Mimi Hijab and Susu uh, uh, Yaya Kadi. Uh, Mimi said to Yaya, there is, like if we give you a blank paper, like an, uh, a white paper, like are you going to write a new Quran or is it going to be the same? <clears throat> Uh, Yasser al-Qadi, or Yaya, he refused to give the answer in the beginning, and he insists that this is a topic should not be discussed in public. But Mimi, he said back to Yaya, insisting that he want to know the answer. And Yaya, he said to Mimi, brother, brother, this is not a topic to discuss in public, trust me. You don't want to put these things in public. But Mimi, insisted that Yaya should give an answer. And then uh, Yaya, or so-called Yasser Qadi, uh, he gave his, uh, his shot. You know, okay, you insist? Here we go. And he told him the famous uh, uh, sentence where he said, there is, you know, the standard narrative has holes in it. And now, what is the narrative we are talking about? We are talking about the preservation of so-called Quran. And then after that, uh, Mimi, she decided uh, to take uh, the interview with Yaya and uh, like take it off from the internet. But Yaya and Fifi, or Mimi, they forgot that there is people they are downloading right away what they post. So Muslims, not only Christians, they were downloading the videos. And after Mimi cut off what Yaya said, then that became even more horrible because now everybody knows what Mimi he did. He took off what Yaya said. And what Yaya and Mimi say to each other is a horrible thing. <clears throat> you know, if you remember, uh, like just two days ago, we have a Muslim who called me and he told me that there is many things in the Quran, they are false, uh, hadith is corrupted. I mean, so what? So now we have their sheikhs, like Yaya, he con she considered herself that she is a, uh, a sheikh, and Mimi, she considered herself that she is the man, you know, uh, to the point they debate anyone except me. And as long as there is a hole in the narrative, and then we study carefully what they said in the interview. I'm not going to play it. You can go watch it. Just go search 
uh, holes in the narrative the standard narrative has holes in it just search for that you will find tons of articles made by Muslims videos you know <clears throat> I mean if I go right now and search let me just show you Uh, yeah I mean there is tons of videos actually so if we go right now and check in YouTube we will find English numbers of videos of people making videos about the holes in the narrative and they are trying to cover it up and the drama and Muslims accuse Yasser Akkadhi yeah, yeah, that she is not a faithful Muslim and he have an agenda and he is a fraud and he is working for the kuffar he is not a trustworthy uh, he is a potato he is a tomato I mean as you wish so the you know one sentence or let us say 30 second one minute of talk uh, destroyed uh, <clears throat> a career of two liars Mimi and Yaya Mimi who insisted because he thought well Yaya will give the answer he liked to hear or she liked to hear but Yaya he is trying to be decent now he is the scholar you know so he told him brother this is not a topic you discuss in public and I don't know why I called him brother but I mean mistakes so uh, 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 so now the Quran is confirmed to be not preserved and we have tons of approves <clears throat> and you know not only that you see when the Muslims like now we have a video uh, I have a video here this is not what we want give me a second we have a video here give me a second please uh, from uh, Mufti uh, Mink <coughs> Mufti Mink the title of the video is those who say follow Quran only Mufti Mink so Mufti Mink he make a speech about you know uh, he make it clear, you know, the Quran says, uh, uh, whatever the Prophet he gave you, you take, whatever he forbid you, you forbid. As simple as that. So he said, there's no question that we should follow uh, the Hadith. And then he said, well, the Hadith is true. There's many of the Hadith are fabricated or not trustworthy. So how we know which one? He said, we. this is why we have to study. And here you find out like so now you are saying to me that every individual he will find out in his way studying finding out what is to follow what not to follow so how many religion that will will create because if everyone this guy he say i agree with it the other guy he said i don't agree with it this guy he accepted the other guy he said he didn't accept it so as long the hadith by itself is so lousy and there is no narrative for it not only there is the, it's, it, the, the hadith itself is a big hole there is no narrative there is no standard everyone as he wish you will find the same Sunni as an example Mimi Hijab is the one who was making fun of the hadith which is very authentic about the breastfeeding for adult and he used to post comment to Muslim Sheikh saying, can I suckle your wife? And the funny, when I said that to the Muslim women, he said the Christian prince is a sexual predator. <laughs> but when he said it, he is not. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, when we go and we find, as an example, not necessarily, Hadith, and those hadith are coming from a very authentic book, and you will find that Mimi Hijab or Dudu -du, Tutum, whatever they are, they always they make fun of those hadith and they say we don't accept them. 
If you read with me as an example here, this is Sahih, this is Sahih Muslim, which means the authentic Muslim. This is what Sahih means. Sahih means correct, authentic. So it was in the Quran. What was in the Quran? Ten times suckering. But Mimi Hijab, he make fun of those. And he go around and he insult Muslim sheikhs for teaching, yes, the Prophet, he order a Muslim woman to give her breast to be suckled ten times. And this is even was in the Quran. But look what we have here. And this is why those people, they go in denial. Uh, they are ashamed, number one, of their prophet behavior and how he's making fun of the Muslims. I mean, what the point of this? Uh, five time or ten time? Does it make any difference? And look, look how stupid even this. So Allah, he sent the verse. <clears throat> it was revealed in the Quran. Ten clear suckling. Ten clear suckling. And then Allah abrogated by five times. <laughs> you know, like somebody like making a medicine and he go to the laboratory and he says, you know what, you put two drops of antibiotic. And then he says, no, make it five. And then he said, make it 10. And then he say, you know what, 10 is too much. Go back to five. Here you notice that, I mean, if, uh, what is the point? What 10? Why 10? Why 5? Why 2? What those numbers mean? You know, you know what I'm, I'm, I'm saying? So you can tell that this guy is making things up. Because if it's 10, Okay, let us say there is something scientifically will happen if you have 10. So why now it's 5? How? What happened? <laughs> you know, when I say stupidity is amazing, I have, I, have, I have my reasons. This guy is making things up. So he found that it's too much. 10 times, man, that's too much. Let us make it 5. Either, either there is a reason and the 10 should be 10. I mean, what, what happened now? Like, you know, did the human being change? Did those Muslims change like their nature, their, their, their human nature? Like now they develop, developed something else. They used to be elephant, they became Zaraf. So it was 10 and now we make it five. They are the same people in the same time, the same period. So what make 10 become 5 and how in the world such an agenda or decision is made this man is making things up he's making fun of the Muslims he's making fun of his God because obviously he don't respect his God if he respect his God he will even say that ordering a woman to give her breast so she can suckle somebody 10 times what, why, what, what the point of that thing? Why 10 times? And you know, the Muhammadan always who try to defend their prophet, uh, they come with the most funny answer ever. And actually my, my Skype is open. So if there is any Muslim would like to join us and give us his answer, I will be happy to hear him. Let us see, maybe we have somebody in Skype. I hope a Muslim trying to call. <clears throat> okay, I called you the other day. All right. Let us see this guy. We are trying to call a Muhammadan. He said to me, I lie too much. Well, it looks like his internet is bad. All right. Do we have any Muslim would like to join us? Any Muslim? Any Mohammedan?
do we have any Muhammadan? You will notice that now the Muslim they will you know they will hide because this is very embarrassing. And you know the Quran have a bigger issue too. Uh, as an example, uh, like now as you see, so now uh, it was ten and then became five. Okay, where is the, where is the five? Any Muslim can tell me where we can find the five? Any Muhammadan? You see, as you see there, it says, this is about 10 time breastfeeding for adult. So where we can find the abrogation by five, which is very funny. Any Muhammadan? Where we can find the proof of, of both. <clears throat> Stupid religion. How we can how you can follow such a stupid religion? And same time, as long as it was in the Quran, why you take it off? Who allowed you to take it off? The funny is those Muhammadan they say uh, that Christians and Jews, you know, they corrupted their book, blah 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 blah. And then okay, if it, isn't it this is a clear corruption? If Allah He send you a verse. The verse should be in the Quran. If you say to me because it's abrogated, well, show me the one who abrogated the verse. I mean, the new one, where is the new one? Same time, there's many verses in the Quran are abrogated and they are still there. So why this one is not there? There's a hadith that says that a goat ate the verse. And we, we showed you this reference many times before. But is it really convincing that a goat ate the hadith? And why and how come? This goat, she ought specific hadith. Look like this goat, she is sent by somebody and targeting the specific hadith and she knew how to read, how to write. So she opened the Quran, the, the Quran, she flipped the Quran with her tongue. She started looking, where is the chapter for breastfeeding, breastfeeding, breastfeeding for 10. And then she grabbed the verses. Any Muslim can explain to us? <coughs> Hello? Must be Fakira. Yeah. Do we have any brave Muslim? How this goat, she chose the verses, and let us say for the sake of argument, the goat, she ate the verses. Don't, don't the Muslim, they keep saying to us, we memorize the Quran by heart? If you ask Zakir Naik how the Quran is preserved, he said, Brother Peter, the Quran is preserved, and we Muslim will recite it by heart. And if you ask him to recite the chapter we are reading, he will never be able to read it. Actually, I challenge any Muslim, not only to, to not, he, you cannot recite it, you cannot even type it. Who can tell me what the verses are missing? Who is a Muhammadan can tell me what is the missing verse says? So, if the goat ate the Quran and this is the excuse, that's mean that's horrible. That's mean Allah he cannot even stop a goat. How he can stop Christian prince? Secondly, if the goat ate the Quran. Well, did the goat ate your memory too? 
Isn't it most of the Quran or all the Quran was collected from the memory of the believers? You don't have the book of Muhammad. Nobody have it. You don't even have the book of Uthman. So the goat, she ate the Quran or she ate your memory. If you ask me, I believe that this is happening in purpose. The Muslims, they decide to delete those verses because there is no way, no way, even if a goat ate verses, no way that she was able to eat the memory of every Muslim. And as you see here, Aisha, she remember them. And she is saying it clearly, this is was revealed. This is not hadith. It says the verse of a stoning and breast feeding. And by the way, how the stoning verse and the breast uh, uh, ver verse, they are eaten by the goat. Just to make it simple for you. You see, I mean, there is no way that the stoning verse is the next verse after the 10 time breastfeeding. There's no connection. I mean, what the heck is that? One about stoning for fornication, supposedly. And the other one is about, uh, you know, breastfeeding for adult, which is something lovely. All men, they like it. So what Aisha, she said here, that this is from what the goat ate. This is what she remember, but, uh, but, but doesn't mean it's only one page because those cannot be in one page. Those, they cannot be in one page because there's no connection between them at all. Imagine I say to you, drink milk, stone, uh, kill the women. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, drink, you know, suckle a, suckle a woman a breast and kill uh, and, and stone women. Like, it doesn't make sense. So obviously, obviously, don't, don't uh, block... Uh, uh, Mr. Free Abdul Rahman. Free Abdul Rahman is a is a nice guy. It's okay. Let him free Abdul Rahman. I will put your text in the screen. Look how Muslims they refute us. Free Abdul Rahman, don't just appropriate the, the the comment, my friend. This is why the admin had to block you. Take it easy, my friend. Okay? Don't do what Muhammad do. He like he, he say things three times, like Assalamu alaikum three times. How boring. Imagine, like, you know, you, uh, you are now going to eat. You know, you say to your wife, is the food ready? Is the food ready? Is the food ready? Is the food ready? And then she answered you saying, yes, it's ready. Yes, it's ready. Yes, it's ready. Uh, you are weird like your prophet. So why you focus on this? My friend, why not? There's many reasons. Number one, I like goats. Number two, I like breastfeeding for adult. Number three... I like the ones who eat the Quran, like David would. The question is, why you cannot answer? So he's upset, why I'm focusing in this? And then he says, you need to focus on your God. My friend, I'm focusing on my God, but I have to give myself a break and some time of comedy. So your religion is the one, do the job. And look how he refutes us. That's deep. Why are you focus on this, huh? This is not important issue. So you are saying to me that goat eating your Quran is not important issue? What is important for you? Don't you like now to practice breastfeeding for adult? And Aisha, she ordered her nieces to uh, to do breastfeeding for adult. Anyone want to enter upon her? He have to enter first to Aisha nieces, they have to suckle the man 10 times, and then he can get, like this is like secretary. You know, I don't know. I imagine uh, Aisha office is like Trump office. Trump, like, you know, in the in the old days when he was young and he's rich, and, you know, he's, uh, you know, playing games with everybody. So I guess he have like secretaries, they are uh, half naked, half skirt, breastfeeding for any visitor. Or Billy Clinton, you know, he go to, what's his name? Einstein Island. So Aisha, she live in Einstein Island. And anyone want to enter upon her, 
he have to breast feed it by her nieces. Look how decent Aisha. Aisha is so conservative. You see, you cannot see me without doing suckling to my nieces or sister breast. Like, hello? Okay. You want to see the mother of the believers? Did you have a, did you fulfill the requirement? What is the requirement? Well, you have to go to her nieces or her sisters and you have to suckle them 10 times. And uh, after you finish 10 times suckling in 10 different days, until you are satisfied, you can come here and give me your name. Yes, Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Okay, take care. What's your name? What? Zakir Naik? What the heck? This is a dirty word. Your last name is Naik? Do you know what Naik means in Arabic? Okay, no problem. Forget it. This is religion? This is religion. <clears throat> Any Muslim? And how the Muslim they refute us? This is why you are why you are focusing on this. That's deep. Because we want to love. Because we want people to see. We want to, you know, we want uh, the Muslim to, to notice how stupid the religion is. And they will laugh with us. We are not laughing at Muslims, you know, we are laughing at Islam. Is it true that your private wife, she ordered her nieces and her sisters to do breastfeeding for adult? Hmm? <clears throat> Anyone? Let us see the hadith about Aisha ordering her sisters and her nieces to do breastfeeding for adult. Which is very lovely of her. Very nice. I mean, you can tell how open, you know, like these days you hear people saying open minded, open mind, which is very stupid. But obviously, uh, Aisha, she was from those open minded, like Prophet Muhammad. So look at this. Aisha. Yahya related to me from Malik, from, 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 from Aisha, the mother of the believers. Look, look at the title. She is the mother of the believers, but she was a teenage. I mean, have you ever heard of a mother of a believers, but she is a teenage? So now Aisha, she is the mother of Abu Bakr, and Abu Bakr is her father. Man, because Abu Bakr is a believer. Makes sense. She is the mother of the believers. And then it says here, that Aisha, the mother of the believers, this is what Umul Mu'mineen mean, sent him away while he was being nurse to her sister Umm Kathum, been to Abi Bakr, a Sadiq, and said, suckle him ten times so he can come to see, come in and see me. What is the science behind this? So the guy now, he cannot get in unless his sister, she take off her boobs. I wish at that time there's like tech talk, Instagram. Actually, we will not call it Instagram no more. We will call it Sakalagram. Like suckle a gram, suckle ten grams, suckle ten kilograms. Like keep suckling. What is this? What is what does have to do with God? See, they keep saying to us, Islam is about worshiping one God, and Islam is a lifestyle. Okay, here we go. This is a lifestyle. Who want to practice? Aisha herself, she practice it. She order it. And you Muslims, you follow it. And Muhammad, he ordered it. And it was a verse in the Quran. So what do you do? You deny it now. Do we have any Muhammad that want to say anything? <clears throat> okay, somebody's saying he's a Muslim. Let us see. We are calling. 
We hope it's a real Muslim. And we will see. Hello? Hello? Ah, this is Akira. If Akira changing her name and speaking like a homosexual, why if Akira change? Why if Akira changing your name? My name is Georgia. Your name is Georgia Fakira? Uh huh. Mashallah. So ultimate fart now became a female since he changed his gender. Take Ooh. care. It's not Fakira no more. Her name is Georgia now today. How stupid! How silly! How dummy! Her name is Georgia today, Fakira. This is a man. Ah, I think he is one of the pr production of the breastfeeding for adult. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yesterday when he called me, I said to her, "Hi, Fakira, are you there?" She said, "Yes." <laughs> Stupid people, you know. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> today she is George <laughs> so do we have any real Muslim except this stupid idiot confused about his gender and who is his father and who is his mother any Mohammedan would like to call us and tell us what's going on so as you see, the Quran is messed up, the Hadith is messed up, your Prophet is messed up, your, his wife is messed up, you are messed up. I mean, you, and then you come to us and you say that Islam is a religion. How that can be true? Anyone? Uh, please avoid putting my name next to your comment unless it's a question for me and the question have to do with the topic avoid putting like what they call it the hashtag whatever thing to make my name appear in the this color because you are just getting my attention for no reason no point so only if you have a question for me and the question have to do with the topic do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us and tell us how in the world you Muslim claim that the Quran is preserved? And not only that, if we go to the preserved Quran, we will find how funny this the preserved Quran. I mean, look, as an example here, this is the preserved Quran. What is the preserved Quran is talking about? Muhammad, he have a fight with his wives. The two wives having a fight, the two parties. And they are now striking against Muhammad. So the Republican and Democrat, they do strike against Prophet Muhammad. Abido, he is saying, why you are a donkey mouth? My friend, I don't know what you are talking about. But if you mean that the Prophet, when he spoke to his donkey, what he said to him, I can show it to you from Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, according to his story, not according to mine, when you're a Prophet, he killed the Jews. He stole a donkey of a man, uh, and the donkey, his name is Yafur. And surprise, surprise, this donkey, he speak Arabic, not Hebrew. And your prophet, he asked him a question. Do you like females? And surprise, surprise, the donkey was a homosexual. He said, huh, huh, no. Have you ever heard of a donkey don't like females? Only Muhammad donkey. And I guess he got a point. So don't talk about donkeys, my friend. I mean, look who is talking about donkeys. If uh, still you are adding my name for a question, it's just you are making a silly comment. Uh, you being sarcastic, no problem. You can do that. Don't put my name unless it's something serious. Please, don't put my name next to the, don't make my name in color unless 
The question is serious. Do we have any brave Muslim? Look at this. If two, you, the wife of the Prophet Aisha and Hafsa, turn in repentance to Allah, between two brackets, it will be better for you. And look how many brackets they have, because the Quran obviously is messed up. You can't even understand what he's talking about. Look, they added the names there, but the names are not there. Even the wives are not there. The word wife is not there. How we will know talking about who? And then, turn in repentance to Allah, and then between two brackets again, it will be better for you. Your heart has indeed been so inclined. And then between two brackets, so to oppose what the prophet is audible you like like what the heck they oppose what he like what he like what he like <laughs> this is this is Quran this is God <laughs> this is God who created the whole universe <laughs> what the heck is that what the prophet like ice cream what does that mean Yeah, my friend, we said ask a question have to do with the topic. Again, people focus with me. People focus with me. When we are done with the topic, you can say a question have not, as long as you can tell your question have nothing to do with the topic. I mean, should we make a guideline for the broadcast? Listen, you ask a question that have to be with the topic and have to be serious. When we are done and I say who have a question, then you can give me the question which has nothing to do with this topic. Do we have any Abdul? What is this? Who oppose what Allah Prophet like? What he what what he like? Any Muslim can tell us? Any Muhammadan can help us? Read the Arabic version, screw the English. I mean, the Arabic is even, you see, look how funny that the Arabic version is so short, but the English one is like a, a like a book by itself. Like what happened? Here, here are just two lines. Like if you put it in the in a, in a, in a full page, it's not going to make even one line. In Tatuba So that's it. In English, mm -hmm. if you do bracket wives of the Prophet SAW, namely Asa and Hafsa, turn into repentance or Tala, it will be better for you. Your heart are indeed in so client. So you oppose, oppose the Prophet what he like. He like banana, he like ice cream. I mean, this one is about sex. What he like? Why you don't tell? As long as you're adding, adding, uh, adding bracket, why you don't say the guy is sleeping with the sleigh without? Uh, why you don't show the whole drama? Huh? And then, but if you help one another against him, okay, okay, what will happen? This is Putin is making a warning to Ukraine. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then verily, look, Allah is getting now. The smoke is coming from his nose, you know, from the nose of Allah. Ah, then verily Allah is his Mawla, which means his Lord, his Master, his Protector. And now Aisha, she heard this like, what the heck? Allah is getting in the, in the dish. Man, let us hide behind the wall. Allah is involved now. So the guy is fighting with two wives. Suddenly Allah is his Protector. And the Muslim, they say to us, Muhammad, he was a brave, he was a hero. He was in control of the world. And then we find him, he is hiding like a rabbit between Allah, stood, uh, behind Allah to protect him from two females, they are five foot tall. And then, and, and not only is Allah is enough, no, Allah is not good in fighting, not in kickboxing, like ask, uh, you know, uh, and Titi <laughs> and Jibreel, Jibreel too. Allah, he just joined with Jibreel is coming. It's not only Allah. Man, things get getting really big. Okay, and the every righteous man above among the, the believers. Well, obviously nobody. So in this part here, sorry, 
Nobody will join to defend you, Muhammad. Not a single one of them is righteous, starting from you. And furthermore, the angels, and they know, by the way, zero people, they join Muhammad to help him because Allah doesn't exist. Debris does not exist. The righteous believer doesn't exist. And the angels of Allah doesn't exist. So who's going to help Muhammad? Do you know who wrote Warsh? And a Dori and Quran differences between them. What you know when they say when they say warsh, warsh is a recitation, not wrote. It's not written. Recitation of warsh. So supposedly the person who is named, you know, uh, or always like Hafs Quran is Hafs Quran. So uh, the the name uh, given to the reciter, the one who recites, but they don't have they don't have the book. Those are later. You see, they don't even have the book of Hafs who has been accused to be a thief. Hafs been accused to be a thief, a liar, a fraud. This is why Hafs, his hadith, is even rejected. So what they say? That the most popular Quran, they say, that this Quran is according to the recitation of Hafs. According to, 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 Uthman. Hmm? And the funny, the Muslim, they say, is we don't accept a book according to John. You have a billion according to. Open the first page in the Quran, page number A. This Quran is written according to recitation of Hafs, according to the son of etc., according to his father, Abu Asim, whatever Asim, according to his grandmother, according to his cousin, according to Tutu -tu -tu and Nunu and Dudu and Uu. -u. And then the Muslim they says to us, our Quran is preserved. And when we ask them, do you have even the book of Hafs? They don't have it. Do you have the book of Uthman? Don't have it. Do you remember what happened with Sheikh Uthman from San Diego? Sheikh Uthman, he was challenged by a Christian brother from Pakistan. <laughs> I know, I don't know how many of you saw the video. And then the stupid idiot, he went and he bought a book. It says, the, the outside, it says, a Mus'haf of Uthman. <laughs> and he went to this 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 the to our Pakistani Christian brother and he says give me the five thousand dollar challenge here we go this is Mus'haf Uthman don't you know how to read 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 you know and the, the cover says Mus'haf Uthman <laughs> And then when they open the book, the same book it says that this book is no way to be the Mus'haf of Uthman. The same stupid book. The same book he brought to, bro to, to prove that they have a Quran. I mean, can you believe how stupid those people are? He bought a book. They are expensive, by the way. Those are expensive. So imagine you come here to debate me and you bring me a book. And the book says that this Quran is a fraud. The same book you give it to me. And you make a noise. Brother and sisters, let him read. He refused to read. I want the $5,000 challenge. Read. In the front, it says, Mus'haf Uthman. What's the name of the channel? I forgot the name of the channel. Uh, Bible verse Quran, something like that. Maybe I don't know. Anyone knows what the name of the channel? <coughs> Let us give a give a support for our our friend here. Bible and Quran. Okay, Bible and Quran. Hold on. Bible or Quran? Oh, okay, Bible or Quran. All right, here we go. Bible or Quran. All right, I found it. Here we go. And now our friend here, he put it in the front of his page. $5,000. Sheikh Uthman, he is coming so excited and he won the $5,000. I 
I want the five thousand dollar. Okay, I got the book. It's in my hand. It's in my hand. Are you blind? It's in my hand, brother. And he brought a bunch of Abdul with him, and supposedly Abdul now they made victory. They have the book of Uthman. Finally, we got those Christians busted, brother. dollars to somebody who brings the most of Uthman. Okay. <laughs> Sheikh Uthman get screwed. <laughs> dollars to somebody who brings the most of Uthman. Okay. Uh, let me let me post the the channel for this uh, brother. Uh, I would like you all you know go always guys support those who do the good work. You do not need me to tell you right. Always subscribe and you know support them and tell him Christian Prince say hello. So they are so arrogant and so stupid, and this is telling you even they don't even read the book they carried in their hand. I mean, shouldn't this guy before he take this book and he carry it in his hand, shouldn't he read the book first? I mean, how stupid it is. To take a book to prove a point and the book prove you're wrong. And he won the five thousand dollars, yes. You know, he's insisting. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Let us see if we have anything in Skype. Anyone? Thank you for your prayer, my brother. We as a Christian, we should focus in two things when we say we pray. Prayer without act is what? Is a dead, like faith without action is a dead faith. So we Christian, we don't only just we pray, we do. You pray, actually the best prayer is the action. The best prayer is the action. Not by talking. Who is a Muhammadan would like to join us and tell us if you really have a religion? You don't have a religion. Where we can find your religion, where we can read about it. The Quran is messed up. You don't have even a Quran. You don't have a single page from Muhammad. Not even a single page. And the funny, the Muslim, they say to you, well, you have many versions of the Bible. We have many translation. Same time, we have thousands of manuscript. There's no book in the world have manuscript as the Bible. Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a proud believer? He would like to join us. And he will get reward from his God, Allah. You know, I heard that Muslims lately are not going to debate me for a very simple reason. They found an easier way to get reward. Why well, wanna go and debate a Christian prince? Why? How many reward Allah will give me for debating Christian Prince and I will lose? I will go to the backyard of my house and I will start shooting with my PP gun and try to kill some lizard. And Allah will give me a lot of reward. Guy go, I will kill him. Lizard. I will get a lot of reward, brother. Which one is easier? Chasing a lizard or calling Christian Prince? For sure. Chasing a lizard. You know? I mean, this is a religion. The enemy of this God, 
is a lizard. I mean, do you see how big the enemy of Allah? Hmm? This God is facing the challenges. They have many enemies. And the biggest enemy of all time, to the point Muhammad, he had to publish in the newspaper, that listen, we have a reward for you. Not only if you give us information, you call us to the lizard, 1-800-LIZARD. If you kill the lizard from the first shot, look at first shot. You know, once I was shooting in the target practice, and then, I don't know, I shot, I forgot what the number, this is all the story. Uh, I don't know, I, maybe I shot like 10 bullets, and then I, I got my paper back, I got like 16 or 17 bullets. Thanks to Allah, the ladies are next to me, they are shooting, they are so good in shooting, so they, can, they were shooting my paper. <laughs> I was looking at myself, man, I'm the man. Look at this. I shoot 10 bullets, and I got 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's amazing, man. Who can do that? Is that why you Muslims, you go to target practice? <laughs> uh, look what this Muslim is saying. This is deep. Guys, this guy, he got me in the corner. He says, you debate Muslims, small Muslims like us. You are nothing. You can only debate small Muslims like us. That's deep. I mean, we have to be honest here. The problem, Abdul, that all of you are small. Why you don't bring me the big one? Why you don't bring me the big one and you call me? You, uh, his, his name is Hamza Habaz. Uh, Hamza what? Habaz. Hamza Habaz, you are a small one. In front of your wife, you make yourself a hero. You tell her, wash the dishes. You speak to your friend and you speak, you smoke, smoke hashish. And here in front of a Christian prince, you are a small one. How small you are? Bigger than a lizard or smaller? I mean, obviously you are small. If your enemy is a lizard, I mean, I go for hunting. I kill wolves, hyena. I never killed a lion before, but I killed wolves. I killed hyenas. But where I live, there is no lions. But lizard, I'm not going to shoot at a lizard. I did not do that when I was a kid. What kind of a prophet he raised jihad against the lizard. The Quran, there is, a, you know, a standard narrative has holes in it. What, do you even have narrative? Do you even have a standard? Do we have any Muhammadan? And you know, the Muhammadan, they are so proud. But the second you question their religion, they say, you are kafir, you cannot say that. We will kill you if you speak against the Prophet. You see how, you see how the Quran, how Islam is strong? Islam is strong by terrifying people. You cannot terrify me. I'm the last one you can terrify. Try. Just try. And you know, lizards are very useful animals, by the way. You see, in all around the world, you see, God, when he created things, he created them for a reason. Even wolves, even, even beasts, they are exist for a reason. They make a balance. Lizards, they are the one who can control your yard from, from, from mosquitoes, from flies, from... The, how many how many mosquitoes, how many fly the lizard would eat a day? How many you can kill a day? A lizard, he can do what you cannot do. Why you want to kill the lizard? He's a very useful animal. Extremely useful.
And they are extremely peaceful too. They do. They will not hurt you. You can hold it in here in your hand. And then if you ask them why, Prophet Muhammad, he tell you the reason. Brother, because Mr. Geigo, he was trying, look here, the, the translation says salamander. Allah Messenger order that the salamander should be killed and said, it, i.e. the salamander, blew the fire at Abraham. Abraham. Look what evil idiot he is. The salamander was blowing uh, fire on Abraham. And all the creatures of the jungle, like, you know, it's like watching a cartoon. You know, honestly, it's like watching a cartoon. All the creatures in the jungle, in the desert, in the everywhere. They were coming from everywhere to stop the fire. Except the salamander. Man. Let us see where we can find the hadith. <clears throat> oh. I mean, why, why the, why the salamander is doing that? First of all, if I am a, you see, I mean, he the stupid is amazing. Let us say, Mister Salamander. <laughs> once upon the time, <laughs> I mean, it's funny, it's funny that we are in, you know, in such, a, in such a, 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 like time. We are talking about killing salamander. I mean, it's like our, we are a bunch of kids, you know? It's like, you feel how silly, how stupid this religion is, you know? Salamander, are you sure, brother? And uh, let us say, for the sake of argument, if you know what argument mean as a Muhammadan, Mr. Geigo, long time ago long 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 time ago he opened his huge monster mouth which is one centimeter and he blew fire at Abraham okay why I want to I want to kill every salamander in the world <laughs> Isn't it you Muslim you say that no soul should be pay for the sin of other soul? Huh? Isn't it you Muslim say, keep saying, that no soul should pay for the sin of other soul? Okay, he's a grand, 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 10,000 years ago, he blow fire at Abraham. Why you want to kill that, Mr. Lizard? Uh, <clears throat> somebody saying to me either though I agree that this is weird why you don't read the chain of narration narration Mr. Miss uh, Afifa welcome first to our chat you sound like a nice lady uh, you see uh, Afifa why you are asking me to read the chain of narration are you saying to me that you Muslim, you put in your books something new yourself? You did not check? You did not study? You are asking a, you know, a person who is a Christian, why you did not check? And now if we check, and we find that this is a very authentic hadith, what you would do? I want to see your honesty with me. When you say there is a science to hadith, this is the most funny thing ever. All those, you, you, you call them scholars, they never go to school. But what science? I mean, how that is science? And all those who they study the hadith, they never was in the time of Muhammad. 
You see, if those things happen in the time of Muhammad, and then like they make a group, a team, uh, to collect and to filter and etc. We will say, okay, you know, at that time there's something happened. But as you see, the hadith is collected long after Muhammad. However, the Quran is the same. But I will go with you. I will go to the hadith. Let us let us check the chain of narration. This is Al Bukhari and this is Muslim. Do you see? It says Al Bukhari and Muslim. In Arabic here it says Muttafaqun Ali. Agreed upon. Agreed upon. There's no question. So I admire of you trying to defend your religion, but you know, this is a failure. Because even if it was false, why it's in your book? Let us say somebody he made up a story about my Lord Jesus, Yeshua. Why I'm going to take a false story and put it in my book, teach it to my kids. Is that correct, guys? But as you see, this is from Sahih al-Bukhari and this is from Sahih Muslim. And in Arabic it says, Muttafaqun alay, agreed upon. Not only it's authentic, all scholars agreed upon. There's not even one disagree. So my friend, if you allow me to call your friend, what her name, Miss Afifa, uh, what what you're answering? What what do you want to say now? As you see, it says here, agreed upon what I would do. So we went and we did what you asked me to do. We check it out. It turned to be very authentic. In the top of that, agreed upon by all the Muslim scholars. And now you say it sound a bit weird. E Afifa, are you, are you serious? A bit weird? A bit? So if Afifa, if, you're, if your son or your daughter, with my respect to your family, came to you and said to you, Mama, Mama, today I saw a, a lizard blowing fire at somebody in the school. What you will say? A kid. Your son, let us say you have a son, he is six years old. You will laugh. Let us be honest. You will laugh. It's a lizard. This is not a dragon. This is a little tiny creature. So, I understand you are trying to defend, but your defense is very, very, very bad, you know. But thank you anyway for posting. I, I encourage you, please be nice to her, you know. As you know, most of Muslims, you know, uh, uh, they don't know, they are learning. You know, when I was uh, st studying in law, when you put your hand to ask the sheikh or the professor, he say, uh, those things we cannot question. Oh, those things, there's no answer for it. Oh, this is not, not for you to ask. Oh, don't ask me. So I learned that Islam is just a religion. When the Muslim, they say a religion of surrender, it's true. You surrender to stupidity. The second you question why I want to surrender, you, you will not surrender. You cannot. The second you start using your brain, and then the Muslim, they say to us, the Quran is preserved. And then when we check it out, we find that the Quran have nothing to do with the preservation. The Sheikh is here, call me now. Okay, let's see, there's somebody saying he is a Sheikh. <coughs> but I'm afraid it's a, it is a Fakira who became Georgiate or Georgina. Let's see. We are calling. Hello? No, you just say the F word. Fakira, she just said the F word. 
See, uh, Miss uh, Afifa, those are the Muslims. Thank God I have the thing muted. He just said to me, I the F4 to my mother. They lie, they are rude, and they are so angry. Her name now is Kambarla, Kar Kar Karamba. CP, the Sheikh is here. I called right away. Fakira, she said the F word. Trash. Garbage in, garbage out, what you can do. Do we have any real Muslim there to call us? Anyone? Miss Afifa saying she need to search more closely. In the meantime, do you think some truth in the hadith? You see, uh, uh, Afifa, if, if there is a truth or not, Islam is stupid. This is not my point. You see, I don't believe in a single word written in anywhere about, about Islam. I don't believe in Muhammad, you know, to be even exist. There's no proof of his existence. Who is Muhammad? Who is his father? Who is born? I mean, you go in the Quran, you see one time Muhammad, his name is Al Mustafa, one time his name is Ahmad, one time his name is Muhammad. Obviously, those are not names, those are titles. So, who is Muhammad? Where he was born? Mecca or Bakka? Or Medina? And what his religion? What his. Father name. Who is his mother? Was he an Arab? The Quran says we sent to you the book in Arabic, clear Arabic. But when we read, we find that half of the Quran is not in Arabic. So I have to search, research this more closely. In the meantime, I do think there is some truth to this hadith. Lizard and reptiles do carry disease like so. <laughs> you know, Afifa, they, they carry disease. Are we going to get married from them? What what they carry disease? Are we going to have contact with them? Those are animals. A human being carry disease too. So we, do we kill the human? Don't you agree that we should kill for a reason? And your prophet, did he say kill the lizard because he have a disease or kill him because he blow fire at Abraham? So you are trying to find a solution when your prophet, he made so clear that this is about Abraham. You say it carry a disease. All the creatures carry disease. If you, if you open your mouth, you will see how many germs and bacteria are living there. You have a, you have a cave full of bacteria. So this is not an answer. In the same time, those creatures are very useful, especially for farmers. You know, uh, you know, like uh, when when you have insect or or even do 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 the mosquitoes. Which one is more dangerous for you, mosquitoes or lizard? Mosquitoes, they can cause you a lot of very harmful disease. What lizard they eat? They feed on them. How many mosquitoes the lizard will eat a day? <clears throat> okay. Can you join us live in TikTok? We are almost 4,000 and a lot of Muslims asking about questions, Islam and the Bible. Okay. Uh, no. Are you in? Uh... We are calling. Uh. 
All right, they don't answer. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Mohammedan would like to join us? But you know, I understand that uh, our friend here, she is trying to defend, but you know, you know, all of this doesn't make sense. Is that uh, Sam Shamoon is in the chat? Well, yeah, the one who is asking me to join in TikTok, TikTok, you can call uh, Sam Shamoon to us to answer about the Bible, if you want. He would do a great job. Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> Who is a Mohammedan would like to join us and tell us what's happening? Until now, every one of the Muhammadan tried to refute, he gave false answer. So we find that the Quran doesn't exist. The Quran is totally not exist. There is no existence for a single page of the Quran. Not only we are saying there is a change in the Quran. No, 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 there is no Quran. There is no Quran. You have zero. And they go around and they claim that they have a prophet and they have God and they have a worship. You know, like if you remember once when I, I went to a Muslim website and the, I think the website is called Convert to Islam something. So I asked them, I have a question. I said, sure, sure. I said, why did the prophet kiss the black stone? Uh, it took them five minutes to answer. They said, because it's holy. And then I said, okay, so why it's holy? It took them another five minutes and they said, because the prophet kissed it. <laughs> Where is the intelligence? Why the prophet kissed the black stone? Because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because he kissed it. What the heck? Okay, let's go back to zero. Why the prophet kissed the black stone? Because it's holy. Okay, and why it's holy? Because he kissed it. And then a smarter Muslim, he will give you a different answer. He says, oh, this is a stone sent down by Allah. So what? So what? It's a stone. I mean, isn't the whole earth is a piece of a stone made by Allah, supposedly? Isn't it? The whole earth. What if Allah, he sent you a donkey? And then the more you read about his stone, or you try to research about it, you will find that this stone is the most funny stone ever. There's no stone. Look, look, there's no Quran, there's no Hadith, there's no stone. There's no stone in the stone. The stone is gone long time ago. Let me show you. And Muhammad, he claimed that this is a stone from the heaven is going to witness for us in the day of judgment. Okay, how is going to witness for us in the day of judgment if nothing left of it? Literally nothing. Look at this. Where is the stone? You see all the brown thing? This is wax. All this is wax. There's no stone. The stone is gone. The stones are little tiny rocks. You see those rocks? You can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bingo. What is the black stone? And now how we can confirm that those rocks, they used to be in the black stone. Who found them? According to the stories of the Muslims, the black stone was heavy. And when Muhammad was a child, uh, or, or they said the, the, the father of Muhammad was a child, they carried the stone and they put it in a sheet and it's big and heavy and you carry it from different direction. What the heck is this? What is this? And now if you go to YouTube and you search black stone maintenance, black stone what? 
maintenance, Allah, he could not maintain the black stone. So you Muslim do maintenance. Did you change the battery? Look at the maintenance. The guy, he have a, a piece of steel and he is adding wax. <laughs> maintenance. The religion of Allah need maintenance. The stone of Allah is smoking. Hashish. This is religion. And this is the right hand of Allah. And this is the one who is going to have a tongue. According to Muhammad, this is stone is going to have a, a tongue, eyes, and is going to witness on the day of judgment. Is going to witness for everyone who touch it or kiss it. Everyone. But where is the stone? There is no stone. This is the eyes. Of the black stone, we will make them beautiful so the Muslim will not be upset. So, in the day of judgment, but as you see, this is wax, there's nothing left. And this is this is the black stone mouth. And the black stone has a tongue. We have to come with a tongue now. And is going to witness to the Muhammadan in the day of judgment, brother. But as you see, there's nothing left of the stones. Yeah, thank you for you know for appreciating my art. I was born as an artist, actually. You know, when I was born, you know, the, you know, the, my mom gave me the, the give me delivery. They found a. Uh, uh, you know, 45 uh, uh, gun in my hand and the other hand, the brush. True story. If you don't believe me, Sahih Bukhari. Any Muslim? So all the Muhammad speeches is a lie. What black stone have eyes, have tongue, have, and then there is nothing left in the black stone. There is no black stone in the black stone. So we are kissing what? Now don't be picky about my drawing because I did not finish the nose first. Okay, I I decided to leave it without nose, like for inspiration purpose. Here we go. Are you happy now? And here there's the two holes. Black stone is going to witness for us on the day of judgment. Is that metaphorical? No. And the funny, what make it more funny, that uh, Abu uh, Amr al-Khattab he said that I know that this, you are just a useless, like there's no harm from you, there's no benefit from, from you. Just because the Prophet kissed you, I'm going to kiss you. Which means Umar, he insulted Muhammad and he exposed him because he just said there's no use of you. There's no harm from you and there's no use. Just because the Prophet kissed you, I will kiss you. So he knew it's, a, it's useless. He knew it's a, this is a pagan practice. Do copyright over my writing for sure. You know, I have always my signature there. I, I always put a stamp, you know. But uh, today, uh, this uh, picture is designated to long suffering person. In her memory, Fakira.
Any Mohammedan? If someone else who do not know anything about Islam, you will see the Muslims lined up and you know, like they are brave, they want to debate you, yeah, etc. Here, eh. nobody, nobody know. The funny is, I see people in the chat saying, "Don't forget to support Christian Prince and Patreon," but those those people they never posted the admin, they never posted Patreon. <laughs> Anyway, uh, anyway, do we have any Muhammadan file uh, like a uh, 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 Mayday? Mayday, anyone? Nobody? Do even Muslims? Uh, question themselves, ask themselves questions. Why we do what we do? How we pray? Why we pray? We pray to who? Like even the prayer, their prayer is funny. Muhammad, he says, Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim. Okay. Why Allah, he says, in the name of Allah. And then how you call Allah five times? Saying the same word, Allah, he said. This is not your prayer. Is it? Yeah, my admin do not even know how to post a link. In order to, uh, to make a link active, you have to copy the whole link, not just www. Lord have mercy. Do we have any Abdul? Do we have any Muhammadan? He is so happy to be a Muslim. He is so proud. He is so excited. Anyone? Uh, anyone? Nobody? All right. One of the admins made it. All my admins, they used to be IT technicians and they used to fix the computer of Prophet Muhammad. That's why they have difficulty to post a link. The computer of Prophet Muhammad was the best in the world. Nobody can hack it. But the goat ate the Quran. You know, I don't know about the goat thing, but maybe it was a Trojan horse, you know, like they call it the goat at that time, like a code, you know? Because I, I, I don't know, like the goat ate it. I, I, it doesn't make sense, you know? So I'm suspecting it is a Trojan horse called the goat, you know? And, uh, you know, uh, somebody sent this uh, Trojan horse to the computer of Prophet Muhammad. And because he was dead anyway, he forget he turned the computer off. And he have a very high speed. Remember, he's connected to Allah. The goat ate it. <clears throat> Europe still sleeping? My friend, Europe in the daytime is sleeping. Is there is something called Europe anymore? Europe.
Europeans are sleeping since many centuries. They are dead, not sleeping only. Sleeping. Then in Muhammadan here. You know, I, I think the, the story about the goat, I think this goat was sent by the Jews. You know, the Jews, I saw a documentary that the Jews, they are now doing, they, they are like making an army of cockroaches, army of, you know, like, you know, they connect them to like chip so they can control them from far distance. They put a camera on the top of them. Do you think it's hard for the Jews to come with such a technology in the time of Prophet Muhammad? No way. Actually, I showed you in the other day, the Muslim trying to find a solution why the rockets is shot, is shot by Hamas and Hezbollah are not killing Israeli. Why? They found that there's a tree which the Prophet, he mentioned in the Hadith. It's called Al-Gharqad. This is this tree is stopping the rockets. You know, when you see an article like this and publish in every single Muslim newspaper, you ask yourself, what is the size of the brain of the one who read it, who write it, who publish it, who spread it? Hmm? A tree. Is it stopping the rocket of Hamas and Hezbollah? Brother. Where are the sciences coming from? Look, look at this article. This article, you can find it everywhere. I mean, everywhere, literally. Let me show you. And and, and this website, by the way, it says, Rabitat Adoba Usham. I just searched, I found this. Uh, those are the highest of education in uh, like uh, in Jordan, uh, Syria, uh, you know, the Muslims in uh, uh, Israel, you know. Sahifa Israeli Shajarat al Gharqad Hamatna bil Harb al Akhir. Translation Israeli newspaper. The Israeli, they were protected by the tree of al Gharqad. Let me use Google Translation so you can read yourself and die laughing. The Israeli newspaper Yehudet Ahronit reported that the Israeli authority were surprised today, Thursday, that the railway linking the cities of Ashkol, Ashkol, Ashkol and Ash, Ashdod were not hit by the missiles, despite the continuous shelling that targeted the two cities during the recent Tel Aviv war in Gaza Strip. The newspaper added, that the Israeli authority discovered, I mean, look how they fabricate the news. Those are the Israeli discovered that. Discovered that the dozens, the, the dense trees that Israel is kent, the plant Al Gharqad, this is the kind of the tree, were able to repeal the resistance rocket attack launched. Takbir, Allahu Akbar, Takbir. Somebody called the South Koreans so they can stop the North Korean rocket. Oh, what you need, just those trees. Just put them in the border between you and Mr. Kim, King Kong, Ching Hong, the idiot, you know this guy? The weird the boy, the balloon. Just put those trees there. Somebody call the Korean. Tell them, tell them, Korea. Hello? You give me Mr. Kimchi. Mr. Kimchi is eating Kimchi. Okay, give me the assistant. Eating Kimchi too. 
Okay, give me the head of the security in the country. He's making kimchi. Man. Okay, hold on. Give me the secretary of security and defense in Korea. What? He's buying kimchi? The, the, whole, the whole government is busy with the kimchi. I have a very important news to give you, man. Who can I can talk to you? Like, I want to talk to somebody. Please help us. What? Today is an off day? Why? It's a kimchi holiday. Okay. So listen, Mr. Kimchi. This is what you need to do. You need to put those trees between you and North Korea. It's proven to be scientifically true. And already used by the Israeli, the Jews. The Hamas and Hezbollah, they shoot rocket and the trees, they stop them. Okay, listen, I'm talking to you serious. What? You, you prefer to grow cabbage? Listen, listen, you can grow cabbage between those trees. Exactly. This way you can secure your country. Finally, I, com I was able to convince the South Korean to plant those trees. When I told them you can put uh, cabbage between so they can make kimchi, now they agreed. Unbelievable. All right, you have, you have to give some reward, like, you know, okay, you have to make it appealing to them. So anyway, so now the South Korean, they will and they will not spend too much money. It's just a tree, beautiful tree. You can bring some monkeys, they climb on them, they jump on them, and you know, they, uh, you know, they do things, you can bring even tourists to take pictures with them, and uh, you grow kimchi between, between them, and everybody is happy. Gharqa, the tree that resists the rocket, look at this. This is the tree, resist the rocket? Whew. Who can do that? Let us be honest here. The three who can resist the rocket. And the Muslim, they spread the news everywhere. And this is supposedly, let me, let me give you the website, this website. Already many of you have it already. <clears throat> Link short <clears throat> because you know you might you might tell people about it, people will not believe you. I would say there's no way there's there's a stupid human being would say such a thing. This is a short link for it. Because the title have Arabic. This is what they believe. This is because Muhammad he said he mentioned this tree in the hadith. He said the Jews they will hide behind the tree. He said that. That's it. Muhammad he said that. And the Muslim now they fabricated stories, claiming that the Jews, they said, that this tree revealed the rocket, and the Muslim believe what they said. But which okay which. Which newspaper says that? Hey, Muslims, as long the Jews, and even you say, uh, Yehud Ahranut, can you give us the, 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 the word? Why you don't print what they say? Why you don't put a picture of it? So they fabricate a lie, and they spread the lie. Do you remember the guy who made a video saying that the Vatican hired uh, the, the Catholic, the Catholic brother? They hired two sentencesists Certain test from Germany, and they told them to study the hadith about the fly. In what happened? Yes, brother. They told them to study the hadith about the fly. What the fly? The prophet he said the hadith which very authentic. If a fly fell down in your soup. Dip it, dip it, dip it, and drink it. What the heck? And the, the Pope of the Catholic brother, 
he told the sentence test if you can prove that this hadith is fake we can destroy islam look at the conspiracy of the vatican brother against prophet muhammad peace be upon him and those certain tests from germany like one of his name is Oshnen Achsichsmachst, and the other one is Schumacher. So hard. I mean, you know nothing. So they start studying together, Mr. Achsichsmachtschnacht, and the other friend, which I don't cannot repeat his name. Sorry. <laughs> and they found that this hadith is true, and not only that, they were able to make a medicine each. Bill cost $500 and they sold it to Pfizer against AIDS. And when I made a video against it in YouTube, like just for fun, the Muslim, they flagged my video like crazy, man, because the video have like 200,000 in less than a week. Uh, actually, hold on, maybe, maybe we can find the video, hold on. I'm not going to play it, you know, but maybe we can share it with you so you can die laughing. Uh. <laughs> Uh, what the title will be? Let's see about the fly. I'm trying to find it so we can share it with you. Let us do this here. Hold on. Give me a second. And you should see how he is sure, brother. And you should see the comment of the Muslims. Allahu Akbar, brother. And then after they discover that this hadith is absolutely true, they told the scientists, don't tell anybody. Nobody. Brother, how the Muslims they learn about it? Don't ask. Where is let us see? I need to find I need to remember the name exactly what the name of the title. Uh okay. <coughs> let us see more. I'm trying. For sure, if you if you search in memory TV, but you need to find those guys, they have like a thousand of videos. Uh, but I remember they have it in memory TV and it's translated. <clears throat> yeah, until now I don't see that. I guess I'm looking for the wrong title. Uh, Yeah, but for sure it's there. <laughs> Hilarious. They lie to their followers, and those followers, you know, they are just anything. Say anything. Just say anything. They will love it. Yeah, until now I don't see it. Uh, guys, Islam is the truth. Why you don't call me and show me how truth it is? Call me, let us see. For sure. Okay, why you don't do this, Mr. Truth? Why you don't put a fly in your dish every day? Because according to your prophet, it's healthy. Uh... 
Yeah, I could not find it until now. I did play this video not long time ago, actually. So it should be there. But you need to get lucky and see what is uh, the title. <coughs> Let us see. I can debate you, but I'm not a scholar. <clears throat> I hope it's not Fakira. Hello? Fakira. Akira. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. We laugh at you. Uh, let us see this guy. <clears throat> Hello? Fakira again? Hello? What happened? Do we have any real Muslim beside Miss Fakira? She's in love. Why don't, why you don't uh, put fly into food? Why the Muslim don't make medicine from the fly then? As, here we go. You know, this man is a, a savage, filthy. Uh, a fly fell down in his, in his soup. And the people, they start saying to him, Prophet, Prophet, what are you doing? Don't you see the fly, you know, swimming in, 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 the, in the front of your nose? So what he will say now, he come, he come with an answer, which is, stupid claiming that oh okay don't worry don't worry you know just dip it dip it throw it because one of the wings one of the wings have a disease and other wing have the medicine look brother this fly is carrying the medicine in one wing and the disease in one wing it's like the army the soldier he have a like first aid in the right wing bullet in the left wing so he can shoot the enemy <laughs> and where where in one of his wings that's so good who can beat that the Prophet of Allah should work as a waitress in every restaurant in the world. We should put a sign in every restaurant in the head department. Like you go in a restaurant, you will find if a fly fell down in your soup. Don't be upset from it. Dip it, dip it, and drink it. Prophet Muhammad, comment. Who dare to say this is stupid? Who dare imagine, guys? I have a restaurant in the Middle East, in Qatar, in Bahrain, in Emirat. And I print this and I put it in the top of my counter or the entrance of my restaurant. Saying, don't complain about flies. The Prophet said, who dare to complain? I'm serious. Who dare to complain because of this dead terrorist? They will kill you if you say this is stupid. If you say to them this is stupid here, it's fine. But you say to them, least they are heroes. Here they are potatoes. We have 900 likes.
Now, friend, the best way to get more likes is to get to the target shooting where women, they are shooting. You put your like icon in the front. And supposedly this is your like. And then shoot. Then you will find like all the wind bullets in your, in your YouTube. They are very good in shooting. Do we have any Abdul? But you know, if you do really uh, focus with me, please focus, focus. Focus, let us focus. This is science. You people are just taking it as fun, etc. But the truth is, you are laughing because you are jealous. It's proven scientifically. It's not a secret. You know, the flies, they are sent by Allah. And if you are visited by a fly, you got the blessing of Allah. We have just to appreciate. It takes you just little move. You open your mouth and you take it like a lizard. Do we have any Abdul have any comment? And if you are so, so good, the fly might like you more and move from place to place. Do we have any Muhammadan? Any smart Muhammadan would like to join us? Hmm? I mean, you see, I live in the I live in the state, and I don't remember having a fly in my house. But why this white house have always a fly? Do they grow them there? Maybe that this is not in the White House. <clears throat> Do we have any Mohammedan? Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. So today we have zero real Mohammedan. Let us see this guy here. Let's try. Hello? Fakira. Fakira. Do we have any real Muslim? I bet you, Fakira, she see me in her dreams. She can't sleep without cursing me. Do we have any Abdul? Here he is so proud. Someone who will believe it truly by Allah. Guys, forget about this guy in the chat. Why you don't call now, why, etc. 
I mean, obviously, he's in, you know, he doesn't want to call. He is scared. Leave. Uh, he might be even Fakira. Any Mohammedan? Who is a brave he can prove to me in any way he wish that Islam is true religion and Allah is true God and Muhammad is a prophet? Who can do it? For me, I have many things I like about Islam as an example, breast feeding for adult. Sometimes we lose water. Sometimes we are thirsty. Imagine yourself, you are in the desert. Where do you get milk? What do you do? You go to your neighbor. You knock at your neighbor door. And you ask his wife to nurse you. Who can beat that? Anyone? That's why I have a very white teeth. You know, that explains everything. When I was in the Middle East, every day I do breastfeeding and nursing, you know. And like, you know, I go to the, oh, all the, the whole city, you know. You go in the bus, you know. You go in the, uh, you should see what I did in the, in the movie theater. Unbelievable, you know. I was drinking milk, drinking milk, you know. Like, man, I can't even breathe, you know, and yeah, yeah, true story. Anyone? Why don't Allah send verse similar or like? Yeah, you see what happened, the goat ate it after Muhammad died. Come on, what are you talking about? Just think about it, man. The goat ate the verse after the death of Muhammad. So how Allah will send it? He will send it to whom? The receiver is broken now. Muhammad, he is the one who received the Quran. That's it. It's over. He cannot fix it. Do you remember a Muslim? He is smart. He called me and he want to get me busted. And then I said, so you're a prophet. He have the Quran under his pillow and the goat, she jumped in the top of him and he's dead. She flipped him. She grabbed the Quran from under the pillow and uh, he said, stop, stop, Christian Prince. I got you busted. I said, what? He said, in the Hadith, nowhere it says under the pillow. It says under the bed. We were reading different Hadith. You know, we were reading a different one. It says there, actually in here it says under the bed too. Yeah, actually the same one, but in the English it says under my pillow. But in Arabic, it doesn't say under my pillow. So he speak Arabic and supposedly he got me busted. So he said, look, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You're lying. It doesn't say under my pillow. It says under my bed. So I said to him, are you saying that your prophet, he put the Quran under his ass, he sleep on it? Right away, he changed the topic. He don't want to talk about it no more. <laughs> you see here, this is what they lie. The paper was with me under my pillow. It doesn't say that. In Arabic, it says, Tahta sariri. No pillow. And he was right. But he thought he got me busted because I said my pillow. I was reading from the, the English translation. So he want to get me busted, suppose. He said, I got you busted. It did not say it was under my pillow. It says, here we go in Arabic, Tahta sariri. So Muhammad was sleeping on the Quran and the Quran under his ass. Any Mohammedan?
Anyone? All right. Look like today we have not uh, too much activities. Uh, if you did not watch my previous videos in that last uh, few days, we have a lot of actions in the videos. Every day we have somebody calling. We have a very hot debates. Uh, and yesterday, actually, we have uh, uh, Amir who left Islam previously in our channel, but yesterday he announced that he accepted Christ, uh, he became a Christian. Uh, and we have a Muslim from Morocco. His daughter, she left Islam here in our channel, which is your channel. Uh, and uh, the Muslim man, he called to save his daughter, supposedly. He called me to get me busted, supposedly. And it was a very horrible Arabic conversation. Uh, I don't know if any of you is going to translate at subtitle in video. Um, so you guys, you can watch it with, uh, with the translation. But I felt sorry for him, but I'm so glad that his daughter was listening and she agreed totally that her father is, was totally lying the whole way. And uh, uh, I hope more more people from Morocco, they will watch this debate and see how Muslim they defend by lying. Everything I show on the screen, he said, this is not exist, this is not true. It's not exist, you're fabricating things. All right, and as long today we have a very slow, nobody, no customers, no Muslims. Why you are complaining being cursed by fart when you are one calling him? Don't call him then. Mako, you are so smart. Why you are? When he don't give his name, he make himself have a different name. How I know that this is him? I know after he called. People are so smart. Why you are calling him? Marco, he fixed it. <laughs> but anyway, don't worry. We have the audio of Skype will not be activated until I'm sure that the caller is a real man and he is serious. People, they give me a, they give me a solution, which is funny. How I know? You forgot me, I called you, MSK. What, what, what I forgot you, where are you? Any Mohammedan? Mayday, 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 last call. Last call before we exit Skype. Mayday. He called me. What his name is Skype? Any one? Any two? Any three? Hmm. You called me from MSK. Ah, oh, okay. You mean the guy who called me yesterday? Yeah, last time. Okay, I was... Yeah, but I did not like your call. You know? You told me you were going to play games and pretend to be Muslim, etc. I don't appreciate this kind of people. لماذا لا تعطي فكيرة فرصة أخيرة؟ no you cannot you cannot make the he have a very filthy mouth and um, you know such a dog is not welcome in my I don't want to get my program dirty with such a person very filthy if you want to watch his answers we have them recorded and we have thousand of them that's it is enough no I made a promise by the Bible and secondly. Uh, 
But what what he will bring to our program? This guy is just an idiot, filthy mouth, dirty. Uh, he he lying on the stop and he don't accept hadith. He uh, give his own interpretation for the Quran. He can't even read Arabic. So what I would debate him about what? Even he accept that the Quran is corrupt. So what I would do with him more? Who are you are interested? Or do you like to see to hear the F word from time to time? Is that what you like? Uh, yeah, Maku is a, is ultimate fart himself. Obviously, you like him to curse you in private. Get lost. We use the towel only once, twice, three times. When the towel gets so dirty and the towel is not worth washing, we throw it in the garbage. We call it tissue. Where they were, those heroes, when we got them busted a thousand times? We have the recording everywhere. And actually, last time I hang up on him, he even said that F40 is a prophet. Do you remember? We were talking about chapter of a tahrim. He was giving me why, the reason why the prophet, I said to him, how, why the prophet, he broke the command of Allah. He said, okay, I will tell you. There is a big brother, and the younger brother. The big brother, he said to the younger brother, O-M-F, you know the F word. The M is the mother, the F is the F word. And he was explaining to me how his God Allah, speaking to his younger brother Muhammad, calling him U-M-F. Why you are doing wrong? Why you want me to have such a person? He just even told his prophet the MF word. Very filthy. And I, I'm very glad actually that we have him many times because, uh, you know, like he presents uh, uh, a group of Muslims who try to fabricate and lies about the meaning of the Quran as they wish. That's why they refuse any interpretation, but yet they accept inter interpretation of their own. You see, if a, a, when, a, when a person he say, I don't accept any interpretation. And then you ask him, do you know Arabic? He say, no, I do not know Arabic. <laughs> but the translation is not translation. The translation is interpretation. This is why you see the Muslim, they add tons of brackets. So when I ask him as an example about this verse, what was behind this verse? He said, how I know? Who care? Who care? That's where we care. We know what he, what the command he broke. So those kind of people who they, you know, they are like a hooker, and she have no panty, and you ask her where is your panty, she say who care? There's no point. Why well, you are naked? Who care? He broke command for what reason? Who care? So why why you wanna even waste your time? With someone give an answer this answer is not an answer is someone playing games you want to talk to them you talk to them for me i have better things to do uh, muslims are not so obedient to muhammad nobody obey muhammad you know you see if you go right now go go like i i, I don't watch this uh like uh, the fifa thing i, I believe it's very stupid but you know, YouTube sometimes like put in front of me some icons or thumb, you know, uh, and you will see like Moroccan girls dancing, uh, celebrating the victory of Morocco. What is the what is the Muslims? Can the Muslims even play football? Naked women in their stadium. You see, we as a Christian, we don't have a government, and we don't have we don't enforce. Them, Islam is a government. Islam is not just a, you can, if, if there's no government, there's no Islam. And this is Qatar who support Muslim Brotherhood, Al-Qaeda, ISIS, 
bringing naked women, naked people, people drinking, people dancing, music, bringing famous artists to, 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 to dance naked. So who is the one is obeying the prophet? Their prophet even forbid them from play, playing chess. Chess. Their prophet, he forbid them from, this is called Allahul Kalam, which means the waste of time. Which one is uh, is useful, respectful, let us say? Chess or football? Hmm? Chess, music, uh, everything is forbidden. Is what the Muslim do. Even to wear the non-Muslim clothing is forbidden. <clears throat> Did you see Mimi Hijab wearing jeans have holes in it, the same as the holes in the narrative? When he interviews Yasser Qadi, and what are you? Are you a kid? Are you a teenage? A growing man wearing jeans have holes? Fashion. So their prophet forbid them from all those things and nobody give it, you know, like they, they, they throw their prophet teaching under the bus. So either you are a Muslim or you are not. <clears throat> According to Muhammad, the one who played chess, the Muslims now, you know, they have, uh, they join the chess uh, competition, they host them, they give big prize. They try to be in everywhere. I mean, they try, and, and supposedly they legalize that, or they justify that by saying, oh, we are trying to spread Islam. Look, we brought Zakir Naik. So we spread Islam, you know, we bring two people who we want to convert to Islam, and we know uh, how it works. You know, poor Indians from, you know, they give them some money to come to the stage. But you are making Muslims watching football. The one who play with those games is the same as somebody. His hands is in the blood of a swine. And now in all Middle Eastern Islamic countries, Emirat, Qatar, even in Saudi Arabia, you can purchase anything against Islam is exist for sure drugs is all over what about the drawing and art what about women showing their hair what about women wearing skirt what about women in the bikinis in Islamic countries Saudi women they don't wear hijab no more even Saudi women, they don't wear hijab. Who's left? So when you say, my friend, Muslim, they obey, nobody obey no more. This is just a joke. This is just the appearance. They say we obey Allah. But in reality, take a look at them. Uh... I will show you of special TV stations of Saudi Arabia, owned by the, 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 the government of Saudi Arabia. We will not play videos, you know, so we don't have uh, We don't have a problem with copyright. This is Al Arabiya, very famous, well known Saudi TV, 
we can go to Al Jazeera, very famous, well known. Those are Muslims. Those are Muslims. Okay, this is Saudi Arabia. Where is the hijab? This is in TV. What happened to the hijab? Another TV station, it's called Al Hadath. Uh, this is Al Yom Tasa. This is another one, Muslim too. This is a Saudi, uh, whatever you know. I mean, look at them. Where is where is the where is the hijab? Where, nobody care. And they are blonde now. You know, things change. Big deal. In the old days, when they go and to to make a news about uh, about the weather, the weather guy he have to say every two seconds, inshallah, tomorrow we will have wind, inshallah, only if Allah will, and tomorrow we might have a sandstorm in the speed of etc. Only and only if because he's scared, he's scared to say tomorrow we will, they will kill him. Now nobody care. Now the story is different. Go to Emirat, go to Bahrain, go to Qatar, go. Not to forget to go to Turkey, where nobody wear even a panty. Go to Gaza. Gaza, prostitution is number one business. What happened? Where is the? I'm just trying to be a little bit careful about what I will show you. My parents were Muslims. No, I never was Muslims, and I have nothing to do with with Muslims. I'm too smart to be a Muslim for a second. This is a religion of stupidity. You know the the crown prince. Uh, he have. Uh, He enforce to change things fast. So he created uh, a ministry, or let's say, a department of fun in Saudi Arabia. And they brought dancers, singers from everywhere. This was never allowed. Just music is not allowed. Now they have theaters, they have dance, they have uh, women wearing a short skirt without sleeves, without hijab, uh, you name it. This is all was not long time ago was like, but not because the, the Muslims themselves, they are uh, in favor of that, but because nobody there to open it. So when this crown prince, he came, he opened the door. He decided to change everything. Look, even those Korean, they brought them to Saudi Arabia. I don't know, they look Korean, are they? This is was this is was not long time ago. This is impossible. Nightclub parties, artists, dancers. 
This is a reader, the capital reader. So, you know, in the appearance, like, you know, when we say Saudi Arabia, we think, okay, Saudi Arabia is a, this is the most conservative country. Uh, Saudi Arabia now is totally different, different, uh, especially after this uh, the crown prince, he came. He made a big difference, actually. This guy, he just, he, he let us say, he put the last nail in the coffin of Muhammad. Even though the country is was really screwed up, drugs and hashish, and dancing and music and everything is, is there. Uh, prostitution. Uh, but he made it legal, let us say. It's it's not it's not like no, it's not a problem. Before, if a per, if a person playing with the you know, there is a machine, it's called a oud, it's like a guitar. If you play with guitar, you can go to jail. You go to jail just for playing with it. And to bring it. Uh, to the country, you have to smuggle it. Like you ask somebody, a driver coming from some country from the borders, you know, they, they smuggle the machine, the music machine for you. Uh... Yeah, well, in Saudi Arabia, they don't wear hijab, and here in USA, they wear. But those, not all of them, those are the one you see. You see, like, uh, some of them, they seek attention. I believe that Muslim women who wear hijab in USA, they are trying to get married. You know, what uh, What Muslim girls, they do, they go dance, uh, etc. You know, I mean, whatever uh, normal, average, uh, non-believing people do. But when they want to get married, they want to seek a husband, then suddenly they put hijab, they cover themselves, they are conservative because now it's time to get married, you know? And this is how she can get the attention from Muslims. When she walk in the street, a Muslim guy, he see her, and right away he will know she is a Muslim. You know, it's like a way to get uh, hooked with somebody yeah, it's time to settle down. Until that day, they don't wear hijab. And because they are minority, very small, tiny minority in USA, so they, they use the hijab as a way for identity. While in other countries, in Islamic countries, they don't. Actually, I noticed that in Islamic countries like Indonesia, uh, or like when I went to uh, Singapore, I saw um, almost um, a lot of Muslims wear hijab, which is very weird. In Arab countries, almost nobody is wearing hijab now. The percentage of those who wear hijab in Islamic countries are very little compared to the one who don't, especially if they have little freedom. Like if you... Uh, if you go to Indonesia, you go TV, children's, everybody. But in the same time, when you look even at those who wear the hijab, you will see how much makeup. I mean, look at this. The makeup is so scary. So what this hijab for? I mean, if, if the hijab is a point of... Uh, making yourself uh, veiled from others the makeup is doing the opposite job is to make uh, you know uh, people will look at you as simple as that you know why you are wearing such a makeup eyelashes makeup uh, etc you know and according to Muhammad if a woman she do that she's going to go to hell 
But yet all of them, they do that. I wish I can show you videos. I mean, there's tons of videos, scary videos. Very embarrassing. What's makeup? What's wrong with makeup? Will your prophet he forbid makeup? What do you mean what's wrong with makeup? You can, a woman, she can wear makeup only in front of her husband or somebody is forbidden, like her brother or her father or her mother for sure, like sister. So when you say to me what's wrong and you are a Muslim, that is a proven that you don't care for Muhammad words. This is an order in the Quran. And no, no, no Muslim. I never saw a Muslim woman. The, the, if you want to see a Muslim woman, she is really following the Islamic law or the teaching of Muhammad. It's only happen if you see a woman, she have a, a lot of hair in her face. She have wide eyebrows. Or even she have a beard. Because according to Muhammad, even women, they are forbidden from taking hair from their face. If you go to any Muslim uh, uh, wedding party, as an example, they make the wedding party in the street, like in Egypt. And uh, the bride have tons of makeup and they are showing their shoulders and their chest and etc. And for sure, I mean, this is just the appearance, but in reality, uh, they sleep around, they have tons of men before they get married, tons of, you know, and then when the day of marriage, they are the virgins. Any woman you see her, she have no wide eyebrows. Which means you can tell she took hair from her brows. She is not following Islam. I'm talking about the one wearing hijab. The woman she take hair from her face. The woman she color her hair. The woman she add a, a wig to her hair. Those women, Allah, he cursed them and they will go to hell. But not a single Muslim woman, she don't do those things. Make a taking hair from their face. And not only that, I mean, they do plastic surgeries, etc. But all of this is forbidden, totally forbidden. But who care? But all of them, they wear hijab. Ibn Abbas said women who supplies false hair and the one who asks for it, look, supply false hair. So if you are a woman who had some hair attached to your hair, you are in trouble. You went to hell now. And I find it very funny that uh, men, they can take hair from their face. They can even shave their hair and their body. They can shave hair from their pubic area. But women, she cannot take hair from her face. Or the women who pulls out hair for other people. And the women, he, she, you know, she do that. Or the women who do tattoo. I can say, okay, tattoo, you know, no problem. But taking hair from her face, why? Those are cursed. What is the problem of Allah? What if a woman, she lost her hair? Why she can't wear a, you know, a, like a, a wig? What the problem exactly? What is the sin she committing? APS, you are in Skype APS. Oh, okay. <clears throat>
mostly it might be Fakira, we will see. Answer APS, I'm calling you. Are you there, APS? Yeah, mostly it's a it's Fakira. Why this God he will be upset from a woman taking hair from her eyebrows? What exactly she did? Yeah, this guy he did not answer APS. I will call you one more time. If you don't answer, I will block you. <clears throat> Very silly religion. And Muhammad, he color his hair. He's a man. He shave his hair, his body hair. You see, if you ask them what is the purpose of this, they will say because you are changing the way Allah He made you look like. So why the the man he can do it? Why the man? Why Muhammad he shave his mustache? So the woman she have a mustache, she can she cannot take it off. But the man he have a mustache, he he can shave it. Uh, this guy ABS is not answering. Obviously, it's a, it's a false person. He is saying to me, "Can you prove that the music is haram?" In the comment in Skype. Hey, what if I prove it to you? What you will do? Can you prove the music? Actually, according to your prophet, the one who play music, Allah will make him a pig and a monkey. And this is a proof that your prophet is a fraud. Did you see any Muslim become a monkey after he play music? Read it. This is the hadith. Allah will turn them into pigs and monkeys. Do you see it? Anyone who follows religion is a stupid. This is, a, this is not a religion. This is a monkey religion. This guy is a monkey. He will make them monkeys and pigs. This is Al-Bukhari. This is not, this is a very authentic hadith. What Allah will do? He will transform them the rest of them into monkeys. Some he will kill them by mountains falling on them, and some he will transform them into pigs and monkeys. Which one is you? So now we have parties in Jeddah, which is a few kilometers away from Mecca. Dancing women, music. We have uh, the FIFA in Qatar. Naked people walking and jumping in the street like monkeys. And your prophet, he threat that the one who do play music or the one who drink wine, the one who wear silk, the one who enjoy music and instrument, any of those you do separately, Allah will make mountains fall on you or he will make you a monkey. So this religion of stupidity, you know, only stupid people will believe in it. You have to be certified monkey. What the, what the heck is this? You know, this God, he don't say that the one who rape, I will make him a monkey, but the one who play music, I will make him a monkey. Can you believe it? Very awkward, very, and not only that, you will find different hadith Muhammad, he have dancing girls in his house. He have a, a bunch of dancing Ethiopian slaves playing music and dancing for him. This is how hypocrite he is. 
What happened to this guy, ABS? He said, call me. And now he declined my call. <laughs> what a hero. Now he noticed that he's no match and his religion is stupid and he's just a dummy. Maybe you are a Muslim because this God will give you an endless penis. I would like to you to make a video about it. Let us see how you can walk with it. Last call, do we have any Muslim? I don't know if Sam Shamoon is going to go live. Are you going live, Sam? If you are going live, we can let people go there, if you are. Let me know. Do we have any Muslim? Last call. <clears throat> my friend first of all the Euphrates is not a dry somebody is asking this question Be before before you take what people say just go and investigate CP where is the prophecy of the pro uh, Euphrates drying up uh, five a fight over mountain of gold, uh, etc. First, the Euphrates never dry. You are talking about the part which is going to Syria and to Iraq because the Turkish, they build many dams on them and they are allowing little water to go through. But the Euphrates River is not dry. So even the question is not even valid. Yeah, the only one is it, it, it texting us is uh, 40. Hello? On, only 40. <laughs> only Fakira. I will let you call me forever. You will eat your heart. You, you are full of hate. Just keep calling. And it will take me a click to block you. Just a click. You make a new name, poor guy. How many names you made today, just today? Let us see. We are calling a guy, he claimed to be a Muslim, let us see. He obviously is playing games, this guy, he's not answering. You know, honestly, I mean, he, he keep making names, I feel sorry for this girl. She keep making names and come back and posting, making names, posting. Okay, for me, take me a click and we laugh. Yeah, let me block you, idiot. You don't want to answer the call? There's a guy, he's claiming to be Muslim. I call him, he never answer. I will call him one more time. If he don't answer, I will block him. He call himself APS. Yeah, he's not answering. <laughs> the more you get them angry, the more they are facing humiliation time. As simple as that. This guy saying to me, why you don't take my call, idiot? I, look how many a time I called him. 
and he called me. I call him, it says, call decline. <laughs> call decline. And he say, why you don't take my call? And when he called me, I tried to, an to answer, he hang up. Why you don't call me, idiot? Go send off Motaco. Go. Go do Muta. It's time to rent your private part. Anyway. Anyway, guys, I think it's time to go. I want to say thank you all for being here. Uh, today we don't have uh, luck with uh, Abdul. But anyway, people will watch the video and they will see that this religion is not even religion. It's not even a chicken cue. You know, it's just a silly, stupid collection of fairy tale fiction stories. None of it make any sense. Dummy and idiot, you know, made by an idiot for idiots. Only if you are an idiot, you will believe in it. There's nobody will believe in such a God. He will make a private part endless. Nobody believe that God is working right now, making big boobs for us because we believe in him. Nobody will believe that God, he promised a banana tree in heaven. Thank you very much. I will go to Indonesia and we will eat coconut, not only banana. It's just a stupid idiot. You know, in Walmart, the banana, the whole, like five fingers of bananas for not even a dollar. What an idiot. Promising me banana. Obviously, he is just a promising those Bedouin Arab poor people who never saw banana in their life. They heard of it. He prom promised them a grape. Grape? You know? Okay, you will have a grape in heaven, brother. What do you want more? And not only that, because the Arab are so lazy, he promised them that the grape is so low. Like, you do not need to stand up. How you can walk between them? Look how lazy they are. And he promised them that they will be laying down in the couches and in, on the bed, because Arab, they sleep in the floor. The bed is only for the rich, for the kings. And he promised them he will wear silk. What the heck? Silk. And your clothes will never wrinkle, brother. All the promises, including women who you can see through their body, etc. All the promises prove that Muhammad is a fraud. The Lord, he says, from their fruits, you shall know them. And the promise of the Allah, this is Allah fruits, is promise of a bad fruit because if Allah is a good tree his fruit should not be naked women his fruit should not be gold and silver his fruits will not should be images of women and men and you jump and you have sex with them the tree who give bad fruit must be a bad tree do I agree I want to say thank you all for being here may the Lord bless you and until I see you again, Christ is Lord, Islam is a fraud. We prove it every day. This is your brother, Christian Prince, who is serving you humbly for today. Take care.